All right, so I am playing with GitHub Copilot, uh, AI code partner uh, for the first time. So I used it to help me write this um, unit test for this object I'm working on for my uh, normie day job. And we'll see how this goes. Um, I've gone through this whoops, once before. Um, I'm going to create a new test. Def, I'm going to test that uh, text delete cascades to my DTE object. And so just giving it the name of the text, it's going to create a test for me. And so let's see. So first of all, look at this. It's created a doc string to explain what the test is doing that matches the same doc string format that I used above. So it's going to be, uh, it's saying deleting a text should also delete its associated decodable teacher edition object. Yes, that's what I intended uh, based on this title or function name. Um, it has added helpful mid-step comments, just like I do. In this case, it's an identical comment as uh, used above. So create a DTE and validate that it can be accessed from the product instance. OK, this is just like a sanity check. Like, yes, we've really created this object. And then delete the text. Yes, that's what we're testing here. Text the delete. And validate that the DTE is also deleted. That's what cascade means, cascade the delete down to the DTE level. So we're going to delete our text object, and then we're going to make sure that if we now search for a DTE that is using our test text, we will get zero results. So let me save this. Let me shift my window here so we can see my test runner. All right. And let's run it and see what we get. Success. Ran two tests, no errors. Awesome. So we have a valid test of the text delete uh, cascade. And all I did was write the title of the test that I wanted to create. Um, so let's try something else. Def test um, one to one uh, text relationship. So you should only be able to have one of these DTE objects associated with the text at a time. Uh, and so again, we've got the auto-generated doc string. There should only be one decodable teacher, teacher edition per text. Perfect. Uh, same thing. This is just kind of boilerplate setup create a new DTE associated with our uh, our test text. Same set we did above. Attempt to create another DTE for the same text and validate that it fails. So we're expecting an assert. Um, if we try to create a new one using the same text, save that. Let's go to our test runner run it we have three tests they all pass successfully so that's pretty freaking impressive um i mean even notice little things like i use this abbreviation dte in my comments for this decodable teacher edition um, but in my doc string i use the full phrase so I use the full name of the object or class up there. I use the DTE abbreviation in my comments. Um, and GitHub Copilot has just modeled the exact same behavior. Um, it uses the full class name up there. It uses the abbreviation in the um, sub step comments. Uh, and this comment is perfect. It's doing exactly what the test is trying to do. It's, it's doing a perfect job explaining this step of the test. Um, and all I did was write the, the, the function name um, for this test. And it, it was able to auto-generate 
a totally valid test that actually does what I want. That's that's really cool. So let's try one more. So I, I've done these two before, and I just thought it was so cool I wanted to show you. So let's try a brand new one. Um, so actually, it's it's preparing to do the opposite test now. It's proposing if I delete the DTE, does that cascade to the text? But actually, jokes on you, GitHub Copilot, DTE delete does not cascade to text because um, we don't want that relationship to work in the other direction. So let's see what it does with that. All right, deleting a DTE should not delete its associated text. Excellent. That is what I expect um, my behavior to be. Same thing here, same setup. This should probably be refactored to, um, um, you know, a setup thing so that we don't do it in every single test. Delete the DTE and validate that the text is still there. That's beautiful. It's perfect. <laughs> we delete the DTE. We're going to uh, assert that no such DTE exists that points to our test text. The total count of them is zero. Um, and we're going to assert that our test text still exists. We can still find it when we query for it. That's perfect for this test. So let's run it again. Get to our test runner. Run it. Four tests ran successfully. That's freaking awesome. All I did was write the title of these tests. Um, and it just did it great. The documentation in there is great. The doc strings I'm very happy with. The internal documentation within the functions is, exa is exactly how I would have documented. Um, I had a lot of comments in, um, in my code and my tests. And uh, GitHub Copilot has, has uh, mimicked my approach uh, just beautifully here. Um, I mean, it's not like the most difficult test to write. I mean, it's, it's a fairly straightforward thing, um, but it's still, it's still pretty freaking impressive. Uh, this is really neat. Like I'm, uh, I'm smiling here cause you know, programmers hate writing tests. It, it's like, it, it's the one thing that, that we're la like really lazy and really sloppy about and really bites us in the ass if we don't do it. Um, and now, I mean, damn, there's almost no excuse. Like, at least for these simple ones, like if we can just write the name of the function that we want to test, um, and it can do the rest of this for us, like, that's really neat. Um, now, admittedly, uh, like, this is a good sanity check to make sure that the delete cascade is in place. Um, we don't really need to test the one-to-one -one relationship. I mean, that's just built into to Django. You know, it's kind of silly to write tests for like built-in functionality. Um, and this doesn't hurt as a sanity check, but yeah. Uh, so these aren't like the most like interesting or clever tests. They're really quite mechanical. Um, but you know, at least this first one, uh, that was auto-generated. Like that one definitely belongs uh, in this test suite. And um, I'll have to think about if if the rest of these belong. Um, but still, that's cool. <laughs> that's really neat. Um, and that's this is just the initial release of GitHub Copilot. As, as I've been learning, uh, they're preparing Copilot X, which uh, I, I guess we'll be able to read the entire code base instead of just this one file. Uh, so it'll be able to do much more intelligent things because it'll understand all of the interrelationships between um, all your you know object definitions and and other files in, in your source source code. Um, but yeah, just really cool. Just wanted to share that.